the Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Greetings.
I have lost concentration! Ah, my weapon does nothing! I need by, please. How do you do? Oops! Where is my head? Greetings. Well, that didn't work. My weapon isn't working! Greetings. Blast it! I have lost the spell! This weapon does nothing! Excuse me. Charmed, I'm sure. I lost the spell! I need something new! Farewell. <laughs> oh no, that won't do. Greetings. Oh, my spell! This isn't working. Need something else. Charmed, I'm sure. Charmed, I'm sure. You were born amidst the Dalish Elves, noble wanderers who refused to join the society of humans that subjugated their homeland so long ago. The Dalish traveled the land in tightly knit clans, struggling to maintain their half-forgotten law in a human world that fears and despises them. You spend your time hunting with your clanmate Tamlin in the forests, and as is sometimes the case, your quarry is not always the local wildlife. It's a Dalish! And you three are somewhere you shouldn't be. Let us pass, Elf. You have no right to stop us. No? We will see about that, won't we? You're just in time. I found these humans lurking in the bushes. Bandits, no doubt. We aren't bandits, I swear! Please don't hurt us! You Shemlin are pathetic. It's hard to believe you ever drove us from our homeland. We've never done nothing to you, Dalish! We didn't even know this forest was yours! This forest isn't ours, fool. You've stumbled too close to our camp. You Shems are like vermin. We can't trust you not to make mischief. What do you say, Lethaline? What should we do with them? Letting them go might bring more of them. You are too soft. L look, we didn't come here to be trouble. We just found a cave. Yes, a cave. With ruins like I've never seen. We thought there might be, uh... Treasure? So you're more akin to thieves than actual bandits. But I, uh, I have proof. Here, we found this just inside the entrance. This stone has carvings. Is this elvish? Written elvish? There's, there's more in the ruins. We didn't get very far in, though. I've seen something similar on the Keeper's scrolls. And this is all you found? Why didn't you look for more? There was a demon. It was huge with black eyes. Thank the Maker we were able to outrun it. <sighs> a demon. Where is this cave? Just off the west, I think. There's a cave in the rock face and a huge hole just inside. Well, do you trust them? Shall we let them go? 
Run along then, Shems. And don't come back until we Dalish have moved on. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Well, shall we see if there's any truth to this story? These carvings make me curious. She might be interested in these carvings, but let's see if there's anything more before we get excited. Besides, we're already here. Now, they said it was to the west. Come on already, let's look for this cave. They said it was the to the light. west. This must be the cave. I don't recall seeing this before, do you? Always the careful one.
fine. But I'm not running back until I know there's something worth making a fuss over. Come on, let's at least see what's there. How dangerous could it be? Come on already, let's look for this cave. They said it was to the west. It looks like the Shem was telling the truth. But these ruins look more human than Elven. All right. something. Like we just walked into a dragon's lair. Well, whatever it is, it, it won't stop me. A Dalish hunter fears nothing. This place makes me nervous. I'm not sure. This looks like a very old human place. Why would they build it? Maybe some of our ancestors lived here. Okay, aren't you curious? We could be discovering our history. Minstrels will write songs about us. If I were to bring some valuable ancestral artifact back to the Keeper, she might forgive me for... Well, you know. Because I was caught and wouldn't give up any names. Of course she was angry with me. At any rate, I... Wasn't expecting this place to feel quite like this. Maybe this wasn't the best idea. This place makes me nervous. I'm, maybe some of our ancestors lived here. She takes any opportunity to gather elven lore. When the clans come together, they exchange whatever they found. She shouldn't come without hunters to guard her, though. The air here feels so sinister. Well, whatever it is, it, it won't stop me. This place makes me nervous. I'm not... Maybe some of our ends. The Keeper said it took a long time for slavery to erase our ancestors' history. Maybe whoever lived here still wrote and spoke Elven. It does feel... sinister here, doesn't it? Well... This place makes me nervous. I suppose so. Hey! Weren't you supposed to be assisting Master Varathorn today? How did you end up coming with me? I've never known anyone so eager to wander. I bet you'll end up a flat ear someday, living in the cities like a Shem. Let's just find whatever's here and get out. We can talk later. shall we do here?
All right. Believe this. You recognize this statue, don't you? Back when our people lived in Arlathan, statues like these honored the creators. When the Shems enslaved us, much of that lore was lost. This looks like human architecture, with the statue of our people. Can these ruins date back to the time of Arlathan? I'd never have guessed ancient elves might have lived here, with humans. This place makes me nervous. I saw a picture of it in one of those old books the Keeper never lets anyone touch. It was one of the old gods. The Keeper called him a friend of the dead. Maybe if you paid more attention when we were fledglings, you'd know yourself. He was a guide who took people across the spirit land to their final rest in the beyond. But he wasn't an evil god, not like Fenharal, the great wolf. It doesn't seem right that a place so wrong would be his. Are you curious? We could be discovering our history. Minstrels will write songs of if I were to bring some valuable ancestral artifact. This place makes me nervous. Harren Pival once said that in places where many people died, it can become Seth and Aeron, a land of waking dreams. 
The veil becomes weak and spirits slip into our world. Then they possess corpses and walk around. <laughs> There's certainly enough bones. Maybe nobody was left to bury them. Let's press on. I want to know how our people were involved with this. I'm no storyteller. All I remember of the Haran's tales is... that a veil separates our world from the spirit world. He said that spirits are jealous of us, and always try to steal our souls. They want to be like us so badly, they'll even possess our dead which drives them insane. But for them to enter our world, the veil must be weak. Is that why this place feels so strange? Neither do I. Lead on, Letheline. This place makes me nervous. Lead on. How many centuries? What could be so dangerous? Don't worry, I won't break it. I wonder what this writing is for. Maybe this isn't... Hey, did you see that? I think something moved inside the mirror. Hold on, I just want to know what it is. Don't you see it? There it is again! Can you feel that? I think it knows we're here. I just need to take a closer look. It's showing me places. I can see some kind of city underground, and there's a great blackness. It saw me! Help! I can't run away!
Can you hear me? I am very sorry. You're awake. You've the god's own luck, Lethaleen. You're back at camp. Everyone is worried sick about you. How do you feel? I don't know. The Shem who brought you here saw no sign of him. He was a Grey Warden and appeared out of nowhere with you slung over his shoulder. You were delirious with fever. He said that he found you outside a cave in the forest, unconscious and alone. He left you here and ran off again. The Keeper's been using the old magic to heal you. Of course. Most of the hunters are off looking for him right now. But the Keeper wanted to talk to you as soon as you awoke. Stay here. I'll get her. I see you are awake, Dalan. It is fortunate Duncan found you when he did. I know not what dark power held you, but it nearly bled the life from you. It was difficult even for my magic to keep you alive. Yes, he introduced himself as a Grey Warden. Duncan thought there may have been darkspawn creatures inside the cave. Is that true? Walking corpses? Dark magic, but not darkspawn. I know not what the other creatures might have been. What else did you find? What is the last thing you remember? A mirror. And it caused all this? I have never heard of such a thing in all the lore we have collected. Oh, I was hoping for answers when you woke, but there are only more questions. And Tamlin remains missing. He is more important than any lore in these ruins. If he is as sick as you were, his condition is grave. Duncan returned to the cave to search for Darkspawn, but we cannot rely on him to look for Tamlin as well. We must go ourselves, and quickly. Do you feel well enough to show us the way, Dalin? Without you, we will not find it. I am relieved to hear it. I am ordering the clan to pack the camp so we can go north. Take Meryl with you to the cave. Find Tamlen if you can, but do it swiftly. If there is any truth to what Duncan said, then Darkspawn may show up in these parts soon. We must get away from that horde, but that is not our only concern. Did you encounter any other humans out in the forest? Although you hurt no one, these humans roused their nearby village against us. As everywhere, our people are not welcome here. We have stayed too long, and we must move on, quickly. Our clan could slaughter their entire village if we cared to, but at the cost of bringing their king's rage down on our heads. These people are simple and have simple fears. This is their land, so we will go peacefully. Meryl knows a degree of my magic. Tamlin's chances of surviving the journey back are greater with her help. I also wish for Meryl to see this cave and mirror. She has a sense for these things and could shed light on the nature of this illness. You recovered, and Meryl will too. Still, be careful. Should you come upon this strange mirror again, do not touch it. I would be lying if I said I was not. But whatever knowledge lies in that cave is not worth our children. I send you back with hopes of finding Tamlin, and that is all. Go quickly, for Tamlin's life hangs in the balance.
when Tamlin's life is at stake? Oh, very well. Not quite, Dalen. After they defeated the Darkspawn long ago, the Grey Warden's numbers diminished greatly over the centuries. It seems the humans have little use for them if Darkspawn aren't actively raising their lambs. I suppose the thought of Darkspawn returning one day did not occur to them. The Grey Warden thinks so. A war may be in the offing. If so, we must get as far away from it as possible. Let the humans fight their battles, as we must fight our own. He seemed honorable, and his care for your safety speaks well of him. I trust my judgment. He said he'd been looking for our clan, and had a hint of our whereabouts. As I said, you were fortunate. It is possible he sought a volunteer to join their order. Indeed. The Grey Wardens once consisted of the best from all races. I know of no Dalish joining them since the days of the Darkspawn Wars, however. Always eager to wander, hmm? Joining the Grey Wardens would be a great honor, but he has not asked. They are the best and most noble of all races, Dalen. Few can achieve their standards. Then do not tarry. Find Tamlin quickly. Remember that Tamlin needs your help. They are mostly boogeymen, used to frighten human children. In modern times, they are rarely seen on surface lands. But rumor holds that great numbers dwell in the ancient tunnels of the Draganlan, the dwarves. They obliterate all that is in their path. Like a plague of locusts, they spread disease and misery when they come to the surface. An event to be feared, without doubt. They destroyed the last horde of Darkspawn to threaten the surface centuries ago. It doesn't mean they extinguished them all. Darkspawn are savage, uncultured creatures. More akin to locusts than men. They may have befouled the cave, but they did not build what is there. From the Warden's description, it may have been a temple devoted to an old god. Should we return, I may see it for myself. Darkspawn are filthy, diseased beasts that taint the very air around them. The Grey Warden seemed to think your illness came from this taint. Since you did not meet any Darkspawn, I don't see how that could be. No doubt he was mistaken. Hmm. The old tomes say Darkspawn come in as many varieties as surface creatures. They also say that many Darkspawn are seen only during what the humans call a blight. Perhaps your bear monster was one of those. Then do not tarry. Find Tamlin quickly. Master Island can help you. Go to him and ask to see his stock. I see you have not left with Merrill yet. Is there something you need? The Keeper sending you back to that cave to look for Tamlin? I want to go with you. Keeper Marathari probably won't approve, but I can help find Tamlin. Tamlin's my friend too. I want to help find him. If Meryl can risk it, so can I. Then ask her. I'll go with you and we'll ask her together. She can't say no to both of us. Fine. I suppose I'd just get you into trouble. I guess I should be guarding the camp right now anyhow. Good luck finding Tamlin. You have my prayers. Have you spoken to Meryl yet? She was looking for you. Have you spoken to Meryl yet? 
She was looking for you. I see you have not left with Meryl yet. Losing Tamlin would be a bad sign. He's one of our most promising hunters. How could Tamlin be lost? He knows this area well. Another creature ahead. Lead on. Let this place makes me lead on. It's beautiful, isn't it? I wonder what the writing says. It sat here for who knows how many centuries. What could be so dangerous? Don't worry, I won't break it. I wonder what this writing is for. I think something moved inside the mirror. Hold on. I Can you? It's. You're back at camp. Everyone is worried sick about you. How do you feel? We don't know. The Shem who brought you here saw no sign of... He was... He left you here and ran off again. The Keeper of Court, but... I... I know not what dark... Yes. Duncan thought there may have been darkspawn creatures inside the cave. Walk... What else did you find? Um... And... Duncan... Do you feel well enough to show us the... I, I am ordering the clan to pack the camp so we can go north. Take Meryl with you to the cave. If there... But that is not our only concern. Although, as everywhere, our... Uh, these people are simple. I would... Be, but whatever knowledge lies in... Mer I also wish for Meryl to see that you recovered. Go quickly. For Tamlin's life, hang. When Tamlin's life is at stake? No. It seems the humans have... The Grey Warden thinks so. Let the human... He seemed honorable. He said... It is possible he sought... Indeed. Always eager to... They are the best, and... 
Then do not tarry. Find Tamlin. Remember that Tamlin need they destroyed the last dark from the wardens to dark since you did not meet any. They are most but like a plague of locusts. Hmm. They also say that then do not tarry. Master Island can help you. Is the Keeper sending you back to that cave to look for Tamlin? I want to go with you. Keeper Marathari probably won't approve. Tamlin's my friend too. I want... then ask her. I'll go with you and we'll ask... Good. Let's go talk to the Keeper. I see you have not left with Meryl yet. Is there something you need? Fenerel? Are you certain? I'm already putting Meryl at risk. I don't want to lose you too. I want to help Keeper. If we can find Tamlin, it's worth the risk. Very well then. You have my permission. And thank you for asking for it. It's good to see you healthy. We feared you would perish. How could Tamlin be lost? So you have returned to us, Dalen. We are grateful you are whole and well. So you should be. What were you two thinking, wandering into that cave without first coming to tell the Keeper? I suppose your youth can be forgiven. Sadly, Tamlin pays the price. Losing you would be a terrible crime, Dalen. You belong to more than just yourself. Or do you not remember? Let us tell these children the fall of the Dales. 
You can honor me by sharing in the telling. Come then, help me as I go along. Children, hear of the fall of the Dales. Hear the tale of what makes you Dalish. Would you care to begin, Dalen? Yes, slaves to a terrible empire, the humans built on the darkest magic. When it fell, we became free. We built a homeland in the Dales, worshipping the creators and rebuilding the culture and history we lost in our long years of slavery. They were resentful because we would not worship their gods and because we put our people first. Over the years, their nations grew cold toward the Dales. In their eyes, we were blasphemers and cruel tyrants. And so the Dales fell. They took our lands and dispersed our people, forcing us to live in their cities and abandon our gods. But many of us refused to relinquish our ways. We instead chose to scatter to the winds, wandering the lands. To survive and preserve our culture, the clans stay apart until the day the Elvenan have a homeland once more. We are the Dalish, keepers of the lost lore, walkers of the lonely path. Thank you for your forbearance, Dalen. You remember both the tale and the oath of the Dales perfectly. I will let you get back to your tasks. I pray you find Tamlin quickly. Now that's something I rarely hear. Of course. Ah, yes. The Lost City. Before the Shemlin enslaved us, even before they came to this part of the world, our people lived in glorious Arlathan. Legends say that our ancestors were immortal and we possessed magic the Shemlin could only dream of. When the humans enslaved us, they took away our language, our history, and our immortality. We quickened to the pace of life and retained nothing of ourselves. We were slaves for so long that even when we became free, there was little for us to recover. If books still exist, I do not know of them. Perhaps they have no choice. Dalish clans are scattered to the winds and rarely gather, which makes us difficult for any organized effort to destroy. And why bother? We have nothing they want, no land, no treasure, and we always move on, allowing no one to grow too angry with us. Some might see this as cowardly, but we are proud. We are the last, and we will survive. They remain in human cities, forgetting all they once had. We call them flat ears, but they differ little from their Shemlin masters. A few may return, but we must accept that they know nothing of the lore or why we keep it. We can hope to find a new home one day, where the Dalish and the flat ears will build a land greater even than our Lathan. We shall teach the flat ears the lore that they lost, and perhaps they will teach us to understand the Shemlin at last. That is the only way we shall truly live in peace. Then I'm sure you have much to do, unless you've other questions. The one who brought you back? Very little. They seemed decent enough as humans go. As for Grey Wardens, they're heroes without a doubt. Members of our own clan joined their ranks in ages past. Only that they eat living flesh and lurk in underground tunnels, once ruled by the Dergenlen. The dwarves. In the last blight long ago, the Grey Wardens all but wiped them out. Should they return, all races will shudder. I've never heard of such a thing. But in the days of ancient Arlathan, we lived free and spread far across the continent. 
We were as varied as the Shemlin, though few were in number. Perhaps some of us lived in caves then, but all knowledge from that era is lost. Of course. May the gods guide your path, Dalen. I'm glad you survived. Losing when to a young would be a great blow to We're the clan. We're always going somewhere. Why can't I go to the Shen City? I'm glad you survived. Losing two of our young would be a great Everybody blow to the clan. He's not coming back. I'm glad you survived. Losing two it's of our young would be healthy. a great blow to the clan. I feared you would pass. Anathara, it's good to see you recovered. They fare well. The Keeper called for the clan to move on, and they will be ready to take this. One is heavy with calf, but it shouldn't be a problem. May I ask of Tamlin's fate? Some say the clan will leave before we find him. The Hala mourn our fallen. No sound is more heart-wrenching than their morning cry. At least they won't be crying over you. They are quite fond of you. I admire them for their strength and pride. They are equals, not servants like the Shemlin horses. At any rate, I do not envy the Keeper's decision. I'll pray for Tamlin's safe return. Anathara, it's good to see you recovered. They've... May I ask of Tamlin's... The Hallam... At least they won't be... They're more friends than servants. We do not dominate them as the Shemlin do their horses and dogs. At any rate... Search parties have been looking for Tamlin since the Grey Warden brought you back. No luck so far. I'm glad you've recovered. Once we find Tamlin, we can concentrate on the journey northward. Thank you for the bow, Master Island. It is light and sturdy, much better than the one I made last year. You are more than welcome. My father made it and used it in battle against the Clan tribes. I will carry it with honor. Then I am proud to tell it. Our clan was one of the first to flee the Dales. When we came to Ferelden, the fiercest of the Shemlin were the barbarians known as the Clan. 
We didn't wait for them to attack us. Every Dalish clan in Ferelden united to bring the battle to them. In Ferelden, in Orlais, wherever there are lands the humans cannot hold, we bring our Aravels. You met some at the last gathering. The ensuing battle went well for us. That day we carved out our reputation of being the deadliest archers. Our arrows won us the right to wander these woods at will. It was this very bow that my father used that day. Thank you for the tale, Master Island, and especially the bow. I will honor its history. We are all the same clan. His hand is as my hand. I have relinquished nothing. It was my father who first spoke of the Vir Tanadal, the three ways of the hunter. The first is the Vir Asan, the way of the arrow, to reach for our goal unrelenting. The second is the Vir Borasan, the way of the bow, to bend but not to break. The last is the Vir Adalen, the way of the wood. We are as ancient as the forests, each tree a part of the greater land. All Dalish are united in this. One day, we shall have a homeland again. One of my own crafting, perhaps? It may not have a history, but you'll provide one for it soon enough, yes? Of course, take whatever you need. Have you fully recovered? I heard the Keeper was confounded, that she had never seen anything like it. You're not changing your mind now, are you? Then let's find Meryl. I'm ready whenever... Ah, it's good you're well. You weren't here when Paul arrived, were you? I've heard of you. 
Everyone is talking about you and the other missing hunter. A Grey Warden brought you back here. That obvious, is it? I just found your camp a couple of days ago. A lucky thing. I heard rumors in a nearby human village that a Dalish camp was close, and I hoped to find your hunters in the forest. You were fortunate I didn't shoot you, Paul. I thought you were a shim, an abandoned at that. You're not the first city elf to rejoin his people. I'm sure he'll find life among us more satisfying than with the shems, if no less harsh. In the alienage, we hear terrible stories about the Dalish. They aren't true, right? I'll do my best. I hope they... we... find your missing friend very soon. I'm training Paul. He'll have to learn how to handle that bow quickly. I'm training Paul. It was good to meet you. Perhaps I'll get to hunt with you someday. You've never been to a city? Surely you've at least visited a town. We occasionally trade with the Shemlin in small villages, but only a few in the clan can undertake that task. I can't imagine never having seen a city. It's crowded, with buildings all squeezed together. There are people everywhere, and it always stinks. Only if they're servants. Most of us live in a part of the city called an alienage, separated from the humans by walls. That's where all the poorest folk live. Laborers, dockhands, and thieves. And that's if you're lucky. We don't think about it like that. To most folks, that's just how it is. Andraste's mercy, no! No one is allowed to walk around with any weapon. Fighting just gets you arrested. And I've never had to leave the city before. Much less learn how to hunt. Well, back in the city we hear the same about you. Stories about Dalish bandits attacking people for no reason. We would never resort to banditry. I'm just saying that's what we hear. And it's elves who say these things, too, not humans. Even if they did, I honestly don't think most of them would want to leave. Wandering and hunting doesn't sound like much of a life. <laughs> At least they would live as free men, and as equals. Maybe. But to most elves I know, the only difference between them and humans is how much coin they have. Coin is the great equalizer. Not living free. I got into trouble for stealing. I'm not a thief. We just never really had a choice. Mother was a maid, and I was lucky if I could get work at the docks. You make a living however you can, right? When Mother died, I got drunk and was caught picking a guard's pocket. They were going to hang me. But I escaped, and... Well, here I am. I'll do my best to adjust and fit in. I never dreamed you'd be so welcoming. I thought at best you might hide me for a bit. <laughs> I'm glad I was wrong. Of course. I hope to see you again. Losing Tamlin would be a bad sign. I miss He's Tamlin. He's one of our most promising hunters. I want him to come home. Why would the Keeper call for a move so early? We were not expecting to leave for weeks. By the Creators, it is so good to see you whole and well. I was so worried. All that time you were ill, the Keeper didn't know if you were going to live or die. I've been outside the Keeper's tent the whole time. I have never been so relieved as when I heard you would pull through. What happened? Everyone says Tamlin may be dead. That's 
awful. He's been a good friend to you since you were fledglings. You must be more careful. Your mother and father, may they rest in peace, would be horrified to see you take such risks. What happened to them is a sad tale, and it's in the past. Reopening old wounds benefits no one. True. Perhaps you're old enough to hear this, though it hardly seems like the right time. Very well. If I do not tell you now, you'll only wonder. Your mother was a hunter, one of the finest, and your father was the keeper before Marathari. He was with us for a very long time. Your mother was from another clan, and her elders did not approve of the match. She and your father had to meet in secret. One day, bandits caught them alone in the forest. Your father was killed, but your mother escaped. Your mother held to life long enough to give birth to you, but grief racked her heart. One night, she, she simply walked into the moonlight and never returned. The clan decided not to discuss this around you, lest it poison your heart with sadness. Our people have learned to live with much sorrow. It seemed only right that we not dwell on it. Your mother did leave you a gift. Something of your father's for you to have once you were older. Perhaps the time has come. Take this key. You'll see some chests behind the storage Aravel by the Halapen. One of them was your mother's. Its contents are yours if you wish. I have done it. Yes, my dear? That's sweet of you. I do hope you find Tamlin soon. Tamlin dead? Search Everybody says he's been not coming back. Since the Grey Warden brought you back. The Keeper told me I'm to accompany you back to those caves. As her apprentice, I may see something you missed. But our main objective is to find Tamlin, of course. We must make haste. He may not have much time.
Enough to pique my interest, and my concern. You can explain the rest on the way. A little, but the Keeper cured you. How dangerous could it be? Even if I get sick, finding Tamlin or something valuable will be worth it. That depends on the Keeper. I thought we're supposed to go alone. That's good enough for me. Now, are we ready? Master Island could help you, but do not tarry. You're back. Are you ready to go now? Less than I'd like to. I know some of our old magic, as the Keeper does, and I'll know about these relics if I see them. The Keeper isn't sending me to collect anything, however. We're worried about Tamlin. And let us make haste while daylight lasts. Time for more dark spawn, I see. anything like them. You can smell the evil on them. Where did they come from? Were they here before? What would Darkspawn have to do with our people? The stories say our Lathan fell long before the Darkspawn appeared. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Let's hope we don't find any more of these monsters. Before we go, are you all right? Were you hurt during the fight? You... I do look quite pale, now that Meryl's mentioned it. Nothing. Forget I said anything. Let's go. I wonder whose camp this is. Do you remember it being here? The Grey Warden said he was returning to the cave. Perhaps this is his camp. If so, he's not here now. And we've seen no sign of Tamlin. Maybe we should... Wait. Do you hear that? Exactly. The forest is too... still. Something's in the air. Something unnatural. And now it's affecting the forest? Maybe that mirror unleashed some kind of sickness. That would not be good. That's an understatement. The sooner we find this cave and Tamlin, the sooner we can leave. Take us there quickly. Watch out! Much. They're an old order that saved us from Darkspawn in the past, but I thought they died out long ago. I'm told they deserve respect, though it was odd to see a Shem in our camp for so long. Yes? I dread to think of it. If he is as sick as you were, even if the worst has happened, we cannot leave his body unburied. Let's not waste any time. If Tamlin's alive, he needs us.
These are the ruins. Interesting. They're definitely of human origin, yet elven artifacts are scattered amongst them. Nothing explains the monsters, though. But we must find Tamlin, or what's left of him. I can't imagine he's still alive with those creatures about. somewhere we need to find his body let's just pray we're wrong yes tamlin or whatever's left of him so we can return him to the earth the ruins are intriguing but it feels like they've been tainted by something let's just see what there is and get out of here let's not waste any time if tamlin's alive he needs us Time for more darkspawn, I see. Of course. So you were the one fighting Darkspawn. I thought I heard combat. You're the elf I found wandering the forest, aren't you? I'm surprised you have recovered. I would have, had I not been battling them myself. 
Not all the kills here were yours, as you can see. My name is Duncan, and it's a pleasure to finally meet you. The last time we spoke, you were barely conscious. And Daran Atisha and Duncan of the Grey Wardens. I am Meryl, the Keeper's apprentice. And I am Fenerel. Did you come here alone, human? Battling all those creatures? Yes, though I must admit you took a great deal of pressure off me. Your Keeper did not send you after me, did she? I told her I would be in no danger. So, you and your friend Tamlin both entered this cave, and you saw this mirror. I see. That's... unfortunate. The Grey Wardens have seen artifacts like this mirror before. It is Tevinter in origin, used for communication. Over time, some of them simply break. They become filled with the same taint as the Darkspawn. Tamlin's touch must have released it. It's what made you sick. And Tamlin too, I presume. I agree. So long as the mirror exists, it is a threat to anyone nearby. I do not fear this sickness. The Keeper knows how to cure it. She may have weakened it, but she cannot cure it. Your recovery is only temporary. I can sense the sickness in you, and it is spreading. Look inside yourself, and you will see. First, we deal with the mirror. It is a pestilence and a threat. is done. Now let's leave this cursed place. I must speak with the Keeper immediately regarding your cure. There is nothing we can do. Let me be very clear. There is nothing you can do for him. He's been tainted for three days now, unaided. Through your Keeper's healing arts and your own willpower, you did not die, but Tamlin has no chance. Trust me when I say that he is gone. Now we should return. The Darkspawn would have taken it. Why would they take his body? Not to eat it, I hope. Darkspawn are evil creatures, and it's best to leave it at that. I'm sorry. With the mirror destroyed, I doubt the Darkspawn will return. Can we return later and search through the ruins? We could learn from many things here besides the mirror. The cave is not safe. Everything here was exposed to the mirror's taint. If your people must come here, they should cleanse it with fire. It's not that simple. I would tell you more, but I must first speak with your Keeper. If you prefer, I can wait outside while you look around, but I assure you, he will not be here. I suggest, however, leaving sooner rather than later. You are sick whether you feel it or not, and it does you no good to linger. As you wish. I will see you back at camp.
Grey Warden is waiting for us outside. He's probably right Tamlin isn't here. We should return to camp. Let's not waste any time. If Tamlin's alive, he needs us. I'm relieved you have returned, and I did not expect to see you again so soon, Duncan. I was not expecting to return so soon either, Keeper. Dare I ask of Tamlin? What did you find of him? I see. Meryl, what about the mirror? Did you bring anything back? I can answer that, Keeper. I destroyed the mirror. I intended to use it to find a cure for this mysterious illness. I trust you had good reasons for your actions. Oh, there is much to discuss, Keeper. I have learned a great deal since I was lost here. Let us speak privately within my Aravel, then, Duncan. Meryl, warn the hunters. If Darkspawn are about, I want the clan prepared. Manuvin and Keeper, right away. Darlene, allow me some time to speak with Duncan. Seek us out at my Aravel later, and we can discuss your cure. Tell Hiren Pival what has occurred. He now has the sad task of preparing a service for the dead. Follow me, Duncan. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. I wish we could have found Tamlin. If those creatures... Oh, I can't bear to think about that. Why do you think the Grey Warden won't tell you about this cure? It seems rather cruel to withhold it. Keeper Marathari won't let him withhold it. I say we get your cure, move the clan north, and put this all behind us. You bring sad news. The Hala can sense it. They are I wish we'd had more time to examine those artifacts. Perhaps another time, if the Keeper thinks it's wise. 
I see you have not returned with young Tamlin. Are we to assume the worst? A sad day for our clan. I know you and Tamlin were friends. My condolences on your loss. May the Creators guide your path. It was good to meet you. Of course. Oh, thank the Creators you're safe. I questioned the Keeper's wisdom at sending you off while you're still sick, but my doubts were misplaced. Tanlin isn't with you. Is it as everyone fears? Oh, poor dear. This is horrible news. Please take care of yourself and get better. We can't bear to lose anyone else. I will see you soon, my dear. You make me very proud. So you return with the Grey Warden, but without Tamlin. What happened, Dalen? Is he truly lost to us? You've done nothing of the sort, Dalen. Do not blame yourself. It seems the will of the Creators that I sing the dirge for those I held in my arms as babes. I think I know why our immortal ancestors would sleep. Swiftly do stars burn a path across the sky, hastening to place one last kiss upon your eye. Tenderly land enfolds you in slumber, softening the rolling thunder. Dagger now sheathed, bow no longer tense. During this, your last hour, only silence. Our ancestors did not age as we do. The Shemlin brought a quickening to our blood that changed us forever. Instead of death, those weary of life would pass into Uthanera, the waking slumber. In doing this, they made way for the young. It was supposed to be a beautiful time, a celebration of the Elder's long life and contribution to his people. Alas, we have no such ceremonies these days. Of course. We've no body to return to the soil, but we shall still sing for Tamlin. The Creators must come to guide him to the beyond. Tell the Keeper it shall be done before the clan is ready to move on. Yes, the Darkspawn are too dangerous to risk staying here. I ask only one thing, if I may. This Grey Warden. You have met him now, yes? Is he a good man? Interesting. What is it he talks to the Keeper about, I wonder? Perhaps you should go and ask. Only that the... In the last bl... Now that's something I rarely hear. Of course. Then I'm sure you have my... Of course. Your keeper and I have spoken, and we've come to an arrangement that concerns you. My order is in need of help. You are in need of a cure. When I leave, I hope you will join me. You would make an excellent Grey Warden. Everything, I'm afraid. The Darkspawn taint courses through your veins. 
that you recovered at all is remarkable, but eventually the taint will sicken and kill you, or worse. The Grey Wardens can prevent that, but it means joining us. We do not know, but we could not watch you suffer. The Grey Warden offers you a way to survive. This is not simply charity on my part. I would not offer this if I did not think you had the makings of a Grey Warden. Let me be clear. You will likely never return here. We go to fight the Darkspawn, a battle that will take us far from your clan. But we need you, and others like you. A great army of Darkspawn gathers in the south. A new blight threatens the land. We cannot outrun this storm. Long ago, the Dalish agreed to aid the Grey Wardens against a blight should that day arrive. We must honor that agreement. It breaks my heart to send you away. As it would to watch you die slowly from this sickness. This is your duty and your salvation. I welcome you to the Order. It is rare to have a Dalish amongst us, but they have always served with distinction. I know you'll do your clan proud, Dalen. Take this ring. It is your heritage, and will protect you against the darkness to come. A valuable gift. So, are you ready to go? We have much ground to cover, but I cannot deny you that. Say your farewells, then we must be off. Come then, Dalen. Before the Creators guide you from us, let your clan embrace you one last time. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment. But all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho oh, there, friend. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. To be fair, your people can be a bit standoffish. Not that I blame them, of course. I tell you this, you are very welcome here. The Grey Wardens will benefit greatly with you amongst them. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different.
I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we see no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. True. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feelings. Wait for reinforcements. We sent a call out west to the Grey Wardens of Orlais, but it will be many days before they can join us. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The joining is what will cure you of the suffering your tainted blood surely brings you. If it had been possible, I would have done it before now. The joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. It is a secret. And it is not a simple antidote. The joining is what will make you a Grey Warden. No, there are two other recruits here already. They have been waiting for us to arrive. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you are ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to.